That imposter had the audacity to carry out her nefarious plans right under our noses. How utterly despicable. What worries me more is... Just how many more antimatter saboteurs are at large? been back home for a long time, have you, Master Don Hung? Oh, is that so? Apologies. Do you want to leave? Then do it now. <sighs> the Cloud Knights will soon check our identities. I have somewhere else to be. I've tarried here too long. But where are you going? I'm a traveling merchant. I have one more deal to see through. You haven't been back home. As home draws nearer, so our feelings grow stronger. I can see it in your eyes. Do you want to leave? <sighs> the cloud not I'm a traveling merchant. I heard the Starskiff connections are being reinstated. The people stranded at the Alchemy Commission should all be able to leave soon. Good news from the front lines. The disciples over at Eve Mist Mansion have been defeated. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus started a rebellion in the Alchemy Commission. The Cloud Knights have the area locked down. It's not safe. Please, remain here for now. We will send someone to escort you back once the operation is over. Lunatics, all of them. You saw the Ambrosial Arbor, I assume? I heard that's the work of those sorcerers. Still, I can't say too much. Military secrecy. The Arbor's resurrection is connected to the Disciples' Rebellion. I've heard those names before, but when? How did the others get drawn into all this? You must be talking about the General's guests. Are they your friends? Oh, what a coincidence. They left with the Master Diviner not long ago. And it's all thanks to their courageous work that the Knights don't have to worry about the poison in Eve Mist Mansion. I received the good news from the front lines. They'll probably be back soon. Strange. You seem oddly familiar to me. Never mind. Too many misfortunes recently. I can hardly think straight. The Master must have failed to summon the protection of Sanctus Medicus. Her will must have wavered. Just you wait. I'll show you the blessing of Sanctus Medicus. Thanks to those heroes, I managed to pull through. Could those guests of the General be the Galaxy Rangers of old? What's up? Go? Go where? The Lafu is under lockdown. The Cloud Knight's operation isn't over yet. Relax. When the fight is over, I'll personally escort you and Mr. Locha home. The Master was defeated? No. No, that cannot be! Yeah. I 
I'm sorry. I have to catch up to my friends. Thank you for looking out for me on this journey. Both of you. Yadara Miraja go? Have these shadows of the past yet to disperse? <sighs> these memories... No. They have nothing to do with me anymore. All the elixir crucibles. Uh -huh. You are... Exiled in the Shenzhou. I'm no longer one of the Scions of Permanence. <laughs> I doubt I will be here to see you take charge. No need to feel grieved. City Ottawa go through cycles of life and death, existing forever in this world. By the time you are the High Elder, my hatching rebirth will be complete, and I will be a child once again. Please, take care of me. Sorry, I cannot linger here. My friends have left. I must find them. You didn't heed us then, and won't heed us now. As headstrong as you always were, it seems you already made your decision. There is a vessel bound for Scale Gorge Waterscape located ahead.
He's here. Hmm. Right on time. That feeling, Kafka. It's welling up within me. That feeling. It, it's... Well, don't resist. Let the Mara strike you. You're here. <laughs> it's time to pay the price! It's time! You think changing form will help you escape? Escape? I've told you and that woman many times. I am Don Hung. I have nothing to do with your past. Don Hung. <laughs> you think another name and face can blot out the sin of your past? You. You didn't even experience death. I will force this suffering upon you, Don Hung. You will know the pain of death. <laughs> not on my watch. You're not murdering anyone today, fugitive. You're coming with me. Jing Yuan's lapdog. <laughs> Did the general not teach you to choose your battles wisely? Hey, move back. Things are about to... Huh? You... You look so... familiar. <laughs> look out! Quit hiding. news for you, uh, boy. Behind you is none other than the traitor of the Sienjo. A criminal forever banished. The High Elder of the Vidyadara. Inviter Lune. Stellaron hunters were the only ones to infiltrate the Sienjo. In that case, I'll bring both of you to justice. Heard of you in Bibiter Lune. First it was the Stellaron hunters, now an exiled criminal has infiltrated the Sienja. Sword, heed me. I have no interest in stoking conflict. I came to ensure the safety of my friends. Save your excuses for the Shackling prison. Out of the way. Do not be afraid. <laughs> Better, but I'm afraid you won't be seeing your friends. They're caught in their own bitter struggle. Silence! You're not getting away either! Is that so? <laughs> Let's heat things up then, Kafka. Lady, listen to me. Unleash the morrow. So it begins. What's wrong? 
You're all in on it. I wonder if the others are okay. Listen to me. Stop. Well, Blady, are you satisfied? stage for the grand entrance. Can't have you three misbehaving in front of the Lawfu's hotshot general. Many years have passed since the two of you departed the Sienjo, and yet the circumstances of your return appear to be equally unhappy. If you still thought of me as a friend, you should have forewarned me. My task is complete. Hmm, that it is. Thank you for assisting the Sienjo in this small matter. Take this person away. I will pretend I didn't see anything this time. General, I... Now is not the time. It has been a long time, old friend. <sighs> I'm not him. Hmm. I'm sorry. You cannot leave yet. Your Astral Express friends are waiting for you in Scale Gorge Water Scale. Shall we go and see them together? Lunarescent depths, a realm of singular beauty. Skilgorge waterscape is the same as when I last laid eyes on it. And here we stand so different from one another. The flesh of long life species may be immortal, but the constant of heaven and earth eludes them. You know the Vidyadara hatching rebirth cycle, General. The waters of the ancient sea have cleansed Dan Fang of his past sin. The person that once stood here alongside you is no more. I 
than Dan Hung. Whether Dan Feng was hero or villain has nothing to do with me. I bore his punishment, accepted my eternal banishment without complaint. But do not let his shadow cloud your estimation of me, General. <sighs> Raising old nets only darkens the water. An exercise in unhappiness. Perhaps it is your visage, the horns on your head, or the unmistakable air of the High Elder that makes the separation nigh impossible for me. I already told you, I... You did. But to what effect? If words alone were enough to change the heart, this world would be without quarrel. If you wish to rid me of the illusion of Don Feng, you must do something for me. Before I can let Don Feng die and revoke your banishment edict, I need him to do me one final favor. I can guarantee you that when it is done, you will no longer walk in anyone's shadow aboard the Law Fu. I may not be capable of the things that Don Feng was capable of. You must do it, or my promise will count for naught. If you wish to blame someone, blame your previous incarnation. Had he not committed that terrible sin, had the power of dragon transmutation been passed on intact, I would have no need to compel you. It is as I said. Here we stand so different from one another. Don Feng is no more. Now, there is only Don Hung. But I, I am the general of the Law Fu. There are things that I wish I did not have to do, and yet I must. <laughs> Let us talk of happier tidings. The friends you made on the Express are here. Do you wish to see them? You, you brought them here? <laughs> yes. They are waiting in the Dragon Vista Rain Hall. Go. Your friends are waiting for you. I have been keeping careful watch against the abominations of abundance, the Stellaron Hunters, and the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. But I never anticipated the Antimatter Legion. The hunt is far from over, yet all the while we find ourselves at war with other evil spirits. Hmm. From this battle onward, the Alliance must fight the Legion to our dying breath. Even if it means the end of the Law Fu. Our intelligence tells us that the Legion are a mad and destructive war machine. Yet they never took up arms against the Alliance. The armies of the Seven Ravagers all have their own means of destruction. They are not to be taken lightly. Lord Ravager Fantilia favors internal collapse, which is why she masterminded the Stellaron Crisis and urged the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus out of the shadows. Now that her plot has been laid bare, she has no choice but to retreat. And yet that hardly suits her philosophy of destruction. There must be something more. It is as pure here as it was there. 
Our dragon ancestors nurtured us with the water of life and bestowed us with the permanence of the Vidyatara. something. When Don Fong committed his great crime, the Ten Lords Commission advocated strongly for him to be destroyed. The Vidyadra, on the other hand, were split evenly in their favor and disfavor of the motion. <laughs> the dragon transmutation inheritance was not intact after all. The senior Vidyadra hated you, yet did not dare to kill you. The Vidyadara were under great pressure. In order to placate the Ten Lords and Skyfaring Commissions, they performed an exuviation charm on Don Fong against his will. Still, they ensured that the charm contained a flaw, thinking that this would fool the Ten Lords Commission. <laughs> the senior Vidyadara were sure of their scheme, but you cannot hide fire with paper. Friends are taking the fight to the Legion as we speak. We need to help them. Let's go! Broken. I sense a storm. Heaven search. Rise! A foregone conclusion. Conflict. 
It's serious. Let's make it quick. Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move! Forgive my late arrival, Lady Fu. We are indebted to you and your forces. The Seat of Divine Foresight relate the battle reports to me. As for Fantilia's plan... The Ambrosial Arbor. That's her focus. Lord Ravager Fantilia's strategy was to create civil strife. Then let it consume the Sien Zhou from within. She wanted to use the Arbor to disseminate the power of the Plague's author and turn the Lafu into a hell of undying abominations. Hmm. That is clear to me now. Friends of the Astral Express, I have brought someone with me whom I think you'll be eager to see. Huh? I is that... Don Hung? You... You are Don Hung, right? What's with the horns? It's a long story, March. It's me. So, you do have secret strength. <laughs> Let us save such reminiscence for later, shall we? My astral guests, when you first appeared on the La Fool, your stated aim was the resolution of the Stellaron Crisis. I was concerned that the Stellaron Hunters harbored ulterior motives and refused your offer. I see now that I was overly anxious. Nevertheless, it is true that the motives of the Stellaron Hunters were not what they appeared. <laughs> In order that the Express and the Sienjo fight side by side, Kafka lured you here and broadened the scope of the crisis. In doing so, she succeeded in making it clear that your sincerity is beyond doubt. The Lafu is in your debt, and I have no right to seek further assistance from you. However, as Lady Fu has explained, the appearance of Fantilia means that the situation is far from under our control. As General of the Lafu, it would be foolish of me not to ask Don Hong and the rest of you for your strength at this critical moment. Even if the crisis on the Law Fu had nothing to do with the Stellaron, I would be willing to help. But I can't speak for the other members of my crew. Explore, understand, establish, and connect. As the crew of the Express, that's the Trailblaze Creed we follow. Still, when the journey gets tough, those words can feel far off. Fear, risk, enemies, and death are the obstacles we face in pursuit of the Creed. That's why the nameless who are able to stay the course number few indeed. Whether our destination lies before us or behind us, the decision is ours to make. Here, as on the Express, every vote counts. is yours, Dong Hong. <laughs> How am I still one of the nameless? I stand here at the mercy of others without true freedom to speak. <sighs> but as a descendant of the Vidyadara, I will fulfill my duty to the Law Fu. <laughs> Great! Everyone's just as heroic as when they arrived. 
So, what's the master plan, General? There is no master plan. Only a bet. A bet on the senior Vidyadra's incomplete exuviation charm. And on Dong Hong's ability to access the memories of the High Elder. High Elder? When the Rainbow Arbiter severed the Ambrosial Arbor, remnants of the curse of the Plague's author lingered. In order to make the stemming of those remnants a possibility, the La Fu invoked the power of the Scions of Permanence. Under the direction of the High Elder, the Vidyadara guided the waters of the ancient sea to flood the Scale Gorge Waterscape Delve and contain the Arbor to commemorate this magnificent feat and sacrifice, the Alliance erected the Dragon Vista Rain Monument, a Vidyadara statue. Oh, it looks so much like Don Hong. I wonder if... The statue... Is that... Don Hong's brother? <laughs> I see why you might think so. These events occurred a long time ago. Yet successive generations of High Elders have not differed greatly in their appearance. That is, until the current generation. The most recent successor did not inherit the same level of power, and their appearance is that of a child. Do you understand, Don Hong? Since Dong Fong perished, the La Fu Vidyadra have no longer had an individual capable of performing such feats. But you, who once kept watch over the arbor, should be able to open a way through to that great tree. What happens next is in your hands. <laughs> Early Nay's reincarnation. Dong Hong, correct? I've heard your name before. Your name was only erased from the public eye. But as the Master Diviner, I know, and should know, all the records of years gone by. Such archives are of great importance in times of need. I was not born in the heroic and extraordinary era of the High Cloud Quintet. To have seen those legends with my own eyes. Your appearance closely matches the depiction in the annals. Does Vidyadara reincarnation really entail a complete transformation? A new life? <laughs> Uh, you scared the heck out of me! Uh, for a second I thought you'd annoyed the general. It seemed like you were his prisoner. There I was, thinking up a plan to kidnap you. And it turns out the two of you are old buddies. So... What made you suddenly decide to come down from the express? Aww, how sweet. But... Mr. Yang and I have been holding our own. We're pretty much Sienjo heroes at this point. Anyway, it's great to have you with us, Don Hung. Has coming here triggered your memory? Release your full potential. The power you carry is the key to opening a way through to the Ambrosial Arbor. The General still has important matters to discuss with you. Please. I knew you'd come. When we first mentioned the Sienjo, there was a sad look in your eyes. They may have banished you, 
but the Lawfu is still your home. You're a member of the Express Crew, Don Hung. Let's settle this matter as soon as possible. Our journey doesn't end here. The annals mention that Scale Gorge Waterscape was once the location of Dragon Palace. Small wonder. Look at all these submerged structures. I was fortunate enough to be here during the Shuhu upheaval period. I witnessed this place in its prime. An age passed. The palace was left in ruins, and the Vidyadra used their sacred homeland to imprison the arbor. The Lafu and the Sienjo are greatly indebted to them. <laughs> Lady Fu. Here, General. Remain here. Lead the Cloud Knights in defense of this passage. We must prevent further incidents. Jing Yuan. General, are you planning to face Gantilia alone? I wouldn't say so. I'll be counting on a few friends for support. General, don't cast us aside. We're willing to go with you. Yes, General. We may not be the mightiest force, but it's our duty as Cloud Knights to protect the Sienjo. How can we let Outworlders face the danger while we stay behind the lines? With your permission, sir, allow me to lead the way. I understand your sentiments, soldiers. But the adversary ahead of us is not an abomination of abundance. They are a Lord Ravager of the Antimatter Legion. Crossing this line will bring you into the conflict between the Rainbow Arbiter and the Ruin Author. You have a more important duty. Cloud Knight's attention! After I enter the Ambrosial Arbor, and if the seawater returns to its original state, 
You must withdraw immediately and seal off the delve once more. The Master Diviner will lead you. Yes, yes General! Lady Fu, if I am unable to return, I entrust you with the important task of relaying the full account to the other Sienjo ships. I trust you will be here to reissue the order in person. But whatever the outcome, I will do as you command and honor the mission. <laughs> Spoken like a true general. to seal the armor. Treason! Blasphemy! You've lost your senses. You think this will gain the trust of the Sienjo natives. Those who are not of our kind can never be of our mind. I understand your misgivings, but my decision is made. That is the course we must take. I... Very well. In that case... I will report you to the Preceptors and have you stripped of the name and power of the High Elder. This must be... the first High Elder that accepted the mission to quell the Ambrosial Arbor. According to tradition, from then on, successive High Elders were obliged to return to the Dragon Vista Rain Hall. 
They would guide the tides of the ancient sea to guard and strengthen the Arbor Seal. Do you remember now? Yes. Reverence to the Three Talons, the path to the Great Roots. It's the way to the root depths. Uh, is that some kind of riddle? Reverence to the Three Talons. What the heck does that mean? Don't worry about it. Just follow me. Oh, what a huge palace. Completely abandoned. That must have been difficult for them. Imagine how upset you'd be if you had to abandon me. <sighs> for the Vidyatara, it must have been a necessary sacrifice. March, I would advise you to refrain from interfering with the Vidyatara. Huh? The Vidyatara? You mean these pearls will turn into people? When the life of a Vidyatara is over, they return to the ancient sea and form a shell before emerging anew. This is the hatching rebirth cycle. This is one of the places mentioned in the riddle. One of the three talents. If we can break the seal here, we'll be a step closer to the roots of the arbor. Those seals you mentioned, do you mean these weird looking stone lanterns? That's right. From what I recall, we have to touch these stone lanterns in a particular sequence to unlock the seals in this area. In that case then, I'll leave it to you. I'll do my best.
No more talking. You can fight it or rock with it. Time for a fun. <laughs> Let's rock. No. Just a little something. Think nothing. <laughs> nice. Let's do it again when you're leveled up.
this seal was already on the verge of breaking before the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection. There are abominations up ahead. Careful, everyone. Stepping on. I wonder if it has any connection to the seal. 